Hey guys, so recently some of you guys have been asking me how do I make my thumbnails? And today I'm gonna show you how do I make my thumbnails. And uh, now let's get into the video. So first of all, you got to download this resource pack called the Ultimate Thumbnail Maker by Chain Sketch. Um, you should go subscribe to Chain Sketch too because he is the best. Anyways, let's hop on to a world. This is taking such a long time, man. So after hopping into the world that you want to make your thumbnail, you've got to make sure to turn your world to daytime, which apparently it isn't. Now it is. And then the next thing you got to do is to change your FOV to the lowest. The reason for this, if you want to capture a background, you don't want it to look blurry. So first of all, what you do is sign your um, background, which, because I really want to make someone that is bridging, I'm gonna place down some blue as my design. So I guess I'm just gonna do this. Okay, now that looks great. And what you want to do now is to click on the age button right there. Okay, now I'm gonna capture the photo. The next thing you want to do is actually put your person, which is now it's me, to right here. After getting a right position, I'm just going to kind of get my armor, which I'm gonna do this would be really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna get myself full diamond armor. And you can use a chainmail chest where you can make like a animation, which I think this looks good. And I'm just gonna do this. After doing this, I can use this called V Modeler. And then you put it on your left hand and then you punch now as long as you have the right position you would actually want to green screen which if there's a new feature in this mod i'm gonna put it around your thing okay now i'm gonna capture the photo which is boom done then for the whole minecraft thing you're done okay and now you're going to hop onto Canva, which is a pretty good app, which I make every single thumbnail, as you guys can see. And now I'm just going to create a design and then create a YouTube thumbnail. So this is the whole YouTube thumbnail format. Do not worry anything. And then what you're gonna do is to upload files photo library you would want to add this into it just drag uh, drag this to the whole image it's gonna do this i'm gonna duplicate the photo because we would use this for something else later just put it right here leave it and next thing is to edit this image really easy editing you don't use adjustments right here you don't use this to edit your photos instead a really easy and quick way is to in the photogenic there's an effect called photogenic and then you're going to go to fresh fresco i think i think that's how you say it right fresco and this fresco apply and the next thing you would like in adjustments to the vignette oh my god i'm so bad at english vignette to a hundred percent you edit this photo and add a shadow glow and then apply and there's this kind of thickness as you guys can see and we just put in the edge drag it and then do a little bit of adjustments. And as you guys can see, this is the whole photo. 
the whole background, you can, as you guys can see, the whole background is done. It looks really, really nice, okay? Just do a little bit of adjustments. Okay, and now you can see a really nice background. And what you want to do next is to add a person into this thumbnail. So you will actually go to some a website called remove.bg, a really good and safe website for removing a background of your photo. Download an image, download. And the next thing you want to do is to upload the file, open it. And now I guess you can see that's my person right there. I can just do this. And I'm just gonna do yeah, some adjustments. And the next thing you want to do to edit this image by going to Photogenic, the same effect. And then you go to Vivid and the first one, Chroma. I think that's how you say it, right? Okay, now it looks so much more better. But still not the best. One thing you need to do is to add the glow effect. I usually use some of my favorite color. And the next thing you would actually want to do is to add kind of a motion blur. So apparently in Canva motion blur, you can't really make a really good motion blur. So to be honest, I'm actually doing something else instead of to something else to look like a motion blur. And I'm just gonna do offset. I'm just gonna try. Okay, right what looks the best. And I'm just gonna become this color. And now it's kind of a little bit of like motion blur, but it's not the best. Cause but if you put the blur to too much or too less, it will look really weird. So I'm just gonna keep it this way. Now the next thing, what would I usually do is to add the text. Some of, some people, you might want to use this kind of text. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, and then you can just do smaller around here or something. Yup. And that looks so much better. Use this. Okay, because I would act because the lift make the whole text look more 3D and I'm gonna duplicate it and the other one would be the would be the hollow and I'm gonna put the hollow to black okay so now it looks like an outline and now you're officially done.